everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and this is Ted and today we are going to show you how to make my delicious roasted chickpea and vegetable risotto. Yum yum. As I just mentioned today I'm going to be making my roasted chickpea and vegetable risotto. Now this recipe is really easy mm -hmm. to do really? and it's a fairly new one on my blog and I really enjoyed making it the other day so I thought I'd make it for you on my channel as well. So here is how to make my roasted chickpea and vegetable risotto. Yummy yummy in my tongue. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to about 180 to 200 degrees. <laughs> So while my oven's preheating, I've got my baking tray here, and this is a Pampered Chef baking tray. You can use an ordinary baking tray, you don't need one of these. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one tin of drained chickpeas. I'm going to put it in. Oh, sorry, I've done it. I'm going to do this. And then, hang on a minute, and then what I've got is uh, one courgette peeled and chopped into like one centimetre pieces I'd say and then I've got an aubergine that's peeled and chopped into one pepper centimetre in. pieces Yama. and a red pepper as well so I'm just going to add those to the bowl and now what I'm going to do no we don't need that and now what I'm going okay. to do is I'm going to add oil, oil to the Avocado. top of that you can use any oil yeah you can use any oil that's right and then I'm going to add can you do two teaspoons of oregano for okay. me please do you remember how to do it? You put it in the jar, don't you? Yeah, I know. I did it one time with your recipe. Okay, careful. That's it. Come on. Right, brilliant. One. Last one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put garlic on this. Now, it should be one to two teaspoons of garlic granules. Vampires won't it? like it. They'll keep running. Yeah. Right? But, Done. unfortunately, we have nearly run out of granu gra garlic granules, so all I'm going to do is just sprinkle the last of that over the top. No! Yeah, there's, there's some garlic in there, so vampires won't like it. No. And yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all of these ingredients together. Oh, can I mix it? Yep. And I'm while you're doing it. that... Oh. I'm going to go and get the salt. Oh, salt, salt, salt. And I'll just sprinkle a bit of salt Don't do my hand. over the top. No, I'm trying not to. That's it. Uh, Clinging the chickpeas everywhere. No, chickpea escaped. And now, chickpea escaped. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we are going to put this into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Right, or until the, the oven. Or until the vegetables go golden brown, basically. So now that is in the oven, what I'm going to do is I've put a large pan on a high heat on the hob and I'm going to add a bit of oil to the base of the pan, like a I don't like I should use any oil. Yep. And then I'm going to spread the oil around the base of the pan. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a leek. So I've chopped a whole I'm leek. I'm putting up a little Okay, in it goes. That's hot. I'm, like gonna, so. I'm just okay. gonna stand back. Okay. I explode. Uh, and then I'm just going oh to. Oh my god! That, that basically looks like leeks. I can't see the other one. Uh, fry this until the leeks become translucent, sort of see through and clear now. Now, what I've done is. Oh, that's really sizzling. I have. Um, fried the onions. This took about three to five minutes and they're really well, nice. Onions. And, onions, sorry, leeks. As my, my son is here to correct me, obviously. And help. Yep, yeah, and help. So, <laughs> so basically, I've fried the leeks until they become lovely and soft and started to go a bit see through. And now, what I'm going to do is. Oh. Yeah, in a minute, sweetheart. In a, um, I have some rice here which I've washed through twice in the sink. And the reason I do that is because it gets rid of the starch before you cook it. So I'm going to put the rice in now. <coughs> and I'm going to fry this. Oh, rice. Oh, okay. Until it becomes a bit see through. So I'll fry this for about a minute or so, not long. 
and it should start to just become see-through like so. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the tomatoes. Do you want to add oh, in the tomatoes? Don't bother organic. You can use any tomato. Yep. Hot. 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 Yep. Now I'm going to... And then I'm going to... Hang on, no, don't take that one. Oh, okay, wash it. Yeah, I'm going to wash it with my chicken stock. Chicken stock? So to get you the juice... Use, you can use any stock. Uh, you can use vegetable stock or chicken stock. So to get the juice from the tin, I'm going to pour this in like so. Or beef stock. And I'm just going to pour that on. Where and I'm have? just going to mix these ingredients round. Now, if I was cooking rice on the hob without anything else in it, I would check that it was about two centimetres from the bottom of where rice is and that is about two centimetres so that's perfect that's yeah. a perfect amount of liquid in the pan at the moment so yes, what I'm going to do is. is put the lid on and I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm going to leave this to cook very slowly now so as you can see the vegetables are now cooked, the vegetables and chickpeas are now cooked. They're a lovely golden brown colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those back into the oven. I've turned the oven off and I'm just going to leave them in there to keep them warm while the risotto is cooking. So I've had a little taste of the risotto and the rice is still quite hard but most of the liquid has actually boiled off. So I'm just going to add a little bit more liquid to this. And I'm just going to bring this to the boil again and then leave it to simmer. So, my risotto has finished cooking now. All the juice has boiled away and it smells absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to add the roasted vegetables and chickpeas to this. Um, you could, if you wanted to, instead of chickpeas, you could use chicken or you could have sausages with this. Oh, sausages. Yeah. <laughs> My son loves sausages. And chicken, pork apple, um, my favourite. And while I'm scooping this in, I'll just tell you that I have now over 800 recipes on my blog, recipe and lifestyle blogs. On my blog, recipe and, and lifestyle posts. And she's got posts. 200 subscribers for her life. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, so if you want any other inspiration for meals, then there's lots of recipes there that you can go and get as well. But, so please but, go check that out. But my mum's is really, really, really good. You should definitely, definitely try it. Okay, and then I am going to mix all of these ingredients together like so. Um, and if you want to, you can add a bit of cheese to this as well. I'll add some cheese with it. Okay. Bye. Okay, so yes, that is our dinner done. Yum, yum. So that's how you make my delicious roasted chickpea and vegetable risotto. And that recipe I will link in the description box below for you, along with my blog as well. So for now, that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.